Ekankar is a new religious movement founded by Paul Twitchell in 1965. It is a non-profit religious group with members in over 100 countries. The spiritual home is the Temple of Ek in Chanhassen, Minnesota. Ekankar is not affiliated with any other religious group. The movement teaches simple spiritual exercises, such as singing, Hu, called, a love song to God, to experience the light and sound of God and recognize the presence of the Holy Spirit. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The word ekankar is a transliteration of the phrase ikonkar, which is used in Sikhism. According to the ekankar glossary, the term ekankar means co-worker with God. Ek is another word for the Holy Spirit, also known as the audible life current, life force, or light and sound of God. Ekankar's headquarters were originally in Las Vegas, Nevada. Under the leadership of Darwin Gross, the organization was moved to Menlo Park, California in 1975. In 1986, Harold Klemp moved the base of operations to Minneapolis, Minnesota. The leader of Ekankar is known as the Living Ek Master. Some leaders, Twitchell and Klemp, for example, also hold the title, Mahanta, which refers to the inner aspect of the teacher. The leader functions as both an inner and outer guide for each member's individual spiritual progress. Twitchell spiritual name, Petazask, was the movement's spiritual leader until his death in late 1971. Gross spiritual name, Dap Bren, succeeded him until October 22, 1981, when Klemp spiritual name, YZ, pronounced YZ, became the spiritual leader. Some scholars believe that Ekankar draws in part from the Sikh and Hindu religions, and the Sant Mat movement. Other influences include Rosicrucianism, Edgar Case, and the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod, whose ministry Harold Klemp once trained for. Topic. Beliefs One of the basic tenets is that soul the true self may be experienced separate from the physical body and in full consciousness travel freely in other planes of reality. Ekankar emphasizes personal spiritual experiences as the most natural way back to God. These are attained via soul travel shifting the awareness from the body to the inner planes of existence. Certain mantras or chants are used to facilitate spiritual growth. One important spiritual exercise of Ekankar is the singing or chanting of Hu, and is viewed in Ekankar as a love song to God. It is pronounced like the English word Hu or Hu in a long, drawn out breath and is sung for about half an hour. Ekists sing it alone or in groups. Ekists believe that singing Hu draws one closer in state of consciousness to the divine being and that it can expand awareness, help one experience divine love, heal broken hearts, offer solace in times of grief, and bring peace and calm. Ekists believe this practice allows the student to step back from the overwhelming input of the physical senses and emotions and regain soul's spiritually higher viewpoint. Dreams are regarded as important teaching tools, and members often keep dream journals to facilitate study. According to followers of Ekankar, dream travel often serves as the gateway to soul travel or the shifting of one's consciousness to ever higher states of being. Ekankar teaches that, "...spiritual liberation," in one's lifetime is available to all and that it is possible to achieve self-realization the realization of oneself as soul and God-realization the realization of oneself as a spark of God in one's lifetime. The membership card for Ekankar states, the aim and purpose of Ekankar has always been to take soul by its own path back to its divine source. The final spiritual goal of all Ekists is to become conscious, co workers, with God. The Shariat Ki Sugmad, which means, Way of the Eternal, is the holy scripture of Ekankar. It comprises two books that tell of spiritual meaning and purpose as written by the Mahanta. There are also a series of satsang writings, that are available with yearly membership in Ekankar. There are satsang classes available to study discourses with others, as well as individually. Some of the key beliefs taught in the Shariat Ki Sugmat include soul travel, karma, reincarnation, love, light and sound, and many other spiritual topics. Ekists believe Sugmat is the endless source from which all forms were created, and that the ek, the sound current, flows out of Sugmat and into lower dimensions. Primary to the teaching is the belief that one may experience the perspective of soul beyond the limits of the body. 
Also, the concepts of karma and reincarnation help to explain situations in life as the playing out of past causes. Primary to the teaching, derived solidly from third-party sources as explained above, is the belief that one may experience the perspective of soul beyond the limits of the body. Also, the concepts of karma and reincarnation help to explain situations in life as the playing out of past causes, the beliefs that individuals are responsible for their own destiny and that their decisions determine their future are important concepts to Ekankar. Ekankar students meet in open public services and classes to discuss personal experiences, topics, books and discourses. Topic. Worship. Ekankar emphasizes personal spiritual experiences as the most natural way back to God. These are attained via the spiritual exercises of Ek. Ekankar offers a spiritual exercise of the week on its website. An Ek light and sound service generally includes a Hu song and contemplation, a talk or panel discussion from members of the Ekankar clergy, and often includes creative arts and group discussion. Ekankar hosts a worldwide seminar in October and a springtime seminar every year. Ekankar also hosts annual seminars in countries around the world. Ek seminars include speakers, creative arts, workshops, discussion groups and other activities. <laughs> <laughs> Current status The Ekankar EK symbol appears on the list of available emblems of belief for placement on government headstones and markers by the United States Department of Veterans Affairs. Sources estimate that there were around 50,000 followers in the 1990s. Iran In February 2018, Iranian agencies reported the execution of an Ekankar member for "...establishing fake institution." Karim Zagar, the former Iran TV's Channel One broadcast manager, general manager of IRIB's international section, head of the Faculty of Radio and Television, and owner and managing director of Film Reports magazine Gotharashi Film, was hanged at Rajai Shah prison. Marjan Davari, Mr. Zagar's former spouse, is also kept in prison and is sentenced to death for being a member of Ekankar. Ms. Davari's family has stated in the media and online that she is merely a researcher and a translator and is not a follower of Ekankar. <laughs> <laughs> Ceremonies and rites There are few personal requirements to be an Ekist, however, certain spiritual practices are recommended. Chief among these is daily practice of the spiritual exercises of Ek for 15 to 20 minutes. The most basic Ek spiritual exercise is singing the word Hu. A wide variety of spiritual exercises are offered, and members are encouraged to create their own. There are no dietary requirements, taboos, or enforced ascetic practices. Ekankar does not require potential members to leave their current faith to join. There are a number of ceremonies an Ekist can experience as part of the teaching, including a consecration ceremony for initiating the young and infants, a rite of passage into adulthood around age 13, a wedding ceremony, and a memorial service. Ekists celebrate a spiritual new year on October 22. There is no organizational celebration of personal anniversaries, such as birthdays of the leaders. Topic. Ek Masters Ekists believe contact with Divine Spirit, which they call the Ek, can be made via the spiritual exercises of Ek and the guidance of the living Ek Master. It is held that the Ek Masters are here to serve all life irrespective of religious belief. The main Ekankar website includes a list of Masters. Topic. Criticism. In Introduction to New and Alternative Religions in America, David C. Lane writes, This lineage, known as the Vairagi Masters in Ekankar, allegedly traces its genealogy back through some 970 living Ek Masters to Rama, an avatar of Vishnu in Hinduism. In other versions, the teachings go even further back to Gakko, a spiritual essence that traveled from the city of Retz on the planet Venus to Earth six million years ago. 
In addition, Sudar Singh and Ribazar Tartsas are not genuine historical personages but literary inventions developed by Twitchell to conceal his past associations. See also Ancient teachings of the Masters Contemporary Sant Mat movement Gopal Das disambiguation Ikonkar Mahanta disambiguation Marjan Davari Satsang Vairag Vairagya Vairagya Shatakam <laughs>